you might not know this, but I'm something of a hobbyist musician. I play guitar and bass, and I've spent more money on plugins and virtual instruments than I really want to admit. When my wife realized how much she spent on Sims 3 and 4, including expansions and kits and all that stuff, I told her not to worry about it. Her software purchases over the last decade don't have a comma in the cost total, unlike mine. But anyway, I like to work on music. It's basically just the sonic version of math, and as we all know, math is the same in every language, so music is also sort of a universal language by extension. But there are a few things that I think are wrong with the music industry and society that are making this thing that I love being part of a real struggle for a good number of people. The first thing that comes to mind for me when talking about the problems with the music industry is the cost of just attending an event. You know, back in the early 90s, the members of Nirvana were absolutely shocked to learn that some artists were charging over $50 for a single ticket. Now, adjusting for inflation, that's around $115 today. Now, some of the ticket prices that I've seen recently were in the $200 to $400 range. That's not something that the average person living paycheck to paycheck can afford anymore. Now, my proposed solution to being able to attend live performances is really simple. Go to smaller shows. Uh, there are a lot of smaller performers charging way less than hundreds of dollars for their performances. Uh, for instance, in the state of Michigan, there's this one performer, uh, Canon Wren, does a Taylor Swift tribute experience thing. The most expensive tickets to see Taylor are absolutely ridiculous, uh, but tickets to see Canon are 25 to 30 bucks. Guess which one I'm more likely to take my daughter to see. And on the topic of smaller shows, Remember to support your local bands. These people are going out and doing the best they can to provide entertainment with minimal ticket prices or cover charges because they just want to bring some happiness to other people and get paid. I mean, they're also in it for the money, but that's usually just enough to cover travel costs and equipment maintenance. Very few local bands are supporting their families from just performing. And when your favorite independent artist or band releases something new, whether it's a single, an EP, an album, a, a t-shirt, stickers, whatever, support that. It costs absolutely nothing to like a post, comment on it, and share it with the rest of your social network. I mean, buy the things if you can, too. A friend of mine uh, recently bought five CDs from a band for about 60 bucks, and that's the equivalent of over 21,000 Spotify streams. The band profusely thanked him for making this purchase and you know it really meant a lot to them it means a lot to him it's just a great way to support the art that you love but i have a totally different rant on spotify and what they actually pay artists for now my opinion is that if you're paying for spotify cancel it get youtube premium instead it's the same cost for an individual subscription there's a huge library of music on YouTube, and you get rid of all those pesky ads that before videos, during videos, and then all of your content creators continue to get paid. But okay, wait, I'm off track. Let's get back on, on topic. The real big issue with music today is a lack of education. Music and art programs are the easiest things to cut from school curriculums, but we need art. We need music. STEM programs are great, but adding art to create STEAM programs is a tremendous improvement. The Tesla Cybertruck could definitely benefit from better artistic design. I mean, look at that thing. It's like a PS2 render of a Pontiac Aztec. And really, kids need to learn about music. Band programs give kids a chance to find their voice, to belong to a group, and to contribute to the community in some really amazing ways. Imagine a world without John Williams, Bear McCready, Metallica, Taylor Swift, Brad Paisley, Hans Zimmer, Michael Kamen. It would be a dull and quiet experience. So go support your local music program. If you can, donate to their fundraisers. Those kids might be the next local band. That local band could be the next major act. But we'll never know if we don't educate and support the arts. So thanks again for listening to uh, a sidebar here on the FSF podcast. Please let me know what you think. What are some of your favorite lesser known bands? I'd love to check them out. Drop a name, drop a link down in the comments, and I will try to listen to everything you put down there. Thanks again, and have a great day.